Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with my new video about a CPUZ utility. So in this video, I am going to show you how easily you can download and install an executable small program that will show you all information about your computer's installed memory and information about your processor so let's take a look on this video first you have to go to cpuid.com website under download page you have to download this few kilobyte executable once you download it is very straightforward to install this utility on your computer first i am showing you this installation on my laptop First, I will install on my laptop. Then, the next step will be the installation on my desktop. So, once installation is finished, you can go ahead and read the log file if you want to. Otherwise, you can keep small box unchecked if you don't want to see this readme file. Once you're done installation, go and open the utility from your start menu and look at these tabs basically you will see couple of things in this tab first in your exam you do have one question about your level one level two and level three cache so this cache resides under your processor l1 is a special type of cache which is very fast l2 is slower than l1 and l3 cache is slower than l1 and l2 l1 l2 these two caches are small in size most likely in kilobytes and l3 cache is in megabytes so we will discuss this in cpu topic and the cache topic in detail but you have to know that we have L1, L2, and L3 cache. Now, moving on to other tabs, you can briefly take a look on main board. Here I have a small note about the CPU Z utility that displays detailed information about the memory modules installed in a computer using a feature called SPD or Serial Presence Detect. The SPD tab in CPUZ displays this information. So now move on to your right side where you can take a look more details. So the second is under that uh, JEDEC that defines a standard operating frequencies for modules. So CPU, motherboard, and other circuit manufacturers can build so we don't have to do anything with that unless we are talking about some cpu overclocking so just ignore that part now moving back to the chart here you can see my laptop has two slots slot one has memory eight gigabyte and slot two is empty in this way if i want to upgrade my laptop with eight gigabyte additional memory I can do so now you look at the graphic what type of graphic tab I have and through other tabs you can look at about or bench so this was my laptop and this is also running an i7 processor now I am moving into my desktop so let's first see if I can talk to my desktop so I am going to RDP like a remote access from my laptop so i am going to use my uh, ip address to access to my desktop this is my host name and username i am using my first name as a local administrator to log into that desktop so i have already saved cpuz utility in a shared folder in my desk, desktop yeah, in my this host so let's go and get it 
from bg info folder here is the utility again once uh, again i am adding the in, into my desktop so once you finish installation again if you want to read the file read me file you can if you don't have to or if you don't want to so you don't have to so let's open this utility now you can pin this utility to the taskbar or just open it up from your start menu if you don't see it you search it here now i'm on my desktop first from the cpu tab you can see i'm using intel core i7 processor and the further information you can see and you also can see cache mainboard memory and sp d tab so just review those all tabs one by one let's go and take a look on uh, the other tabs where you can see l1 l2 and l3 cache as well this is my motherboard asus tech you can read the information about the motherboard without opening up the pc box this is your memory i am using 64 gigabyte memory on this server i have eight slots i will show you my slots as well from my spd tab so slot 1 two slot eight each slot supposed to have 8 gigabyte memory uh, one of the slot basically was loose i was checking yesterday so you might be able to read about 60 gigabyte not 64 but every slot is populated with memory so i have 8 gigabyte memory on each slot so that is why i have 64 gigabyte in total so this is the way i am going to show you from slot number 1 to slot number 8 because this is a desktop so the laptop you can see if you want to upgrade how many slots laptop has if you have empty slot as i had you can see the info so here you can also uh, look at the system info through the system info command so here i can show you my processor and the memory so i told you my memory is 64 but one uh, chip was loose you also can type uh control system to see your system properties where you can also verify your uh memory so 60 gigabyte memory here also you can see so that's how you have multiple ways to verify or validate host name is a command that will tell you what is your computer name so host name is a computer name once again i am back to that utility i would suggest that you supposed to download this utility and run it it all takes about less than 5 minutes to download and install so once you review it get information about this utility and use and get benefit without opening your computer thank you for watching this video